Hi everybody, I'm going to talk you through what I take if I go for a night's wild camping in the spring. Um, it's not lightweight, um, sort of about 12-13 kilograms. You can go a lot lighter, but this is intended just for people who want to start out wild camping and not sure what to take. So I have got a birdhouse 65 plus 10 litre rucksack. It's probably a lot bigger than most people would take, but I like to use that one because it's got really comfortable um, hip straps, really padded, um, and it's just comfortable to wear. And then I've got extra space left in my rucksack. My bulkiest item is my sleeping bag, the DD Dura 2. It's an extra large size because I like to be able to stretch out my arms and my legs inside the sleeping bag. I don't like to be tight inside a mummy sleeping bag. So that will pack down a lot smaller than that with these compression straps, um, but it weighs about two and a half kilograms. Same as the rucksack, it's about two and a half kilograms. So that's my heaviest items. The tent that I'm using, um, if it's not very good weather, I take the tent, which is a two man, one tigress skein tent. I've separated the tent and the poles because then you can put the poles on the outside of your rucksack and the tent inside and the tent will then squash down a bit smaller without the poles in the bag. Tent again, that's about two and a half kilograms with the poles. Then I've got some lighter stuff. I've got the Thermarest Neo Air sleeping pad, which is really super lightweight, very easy to inflate. I've actually got, you can either blow it up, which takes about three or four minutes, or I've got this thing called a flex tail mini pump, which is really good, very light, very small. Um, you connect it on with, with the nozzle and you turn it on. And within probably a minute, you're sleeping pad is inflated. So that's a really handy little extra to put in there. This is my Bush Pro Bivy by OEX, which is small, light, and I won't take the tent. If the weather's good, I just take the bivy, which obviously saves a lot of bulk and a lot of weight in your backpack. Another heavy item here, this inside here is my jet boil. So I've got my jet boil with a gas canister. I've got a little windshield because often when you're up the mountain and it's windy, your jet boil will go out. Just pop that round the side, stops the wind. Um, that's a Van Gogh one. And I would normally take a small lighter, um, not this great big one, but I need to get some new ones. So that one's in there for now. In this bag, I keep a couple of hot chocolates, little spoon or a spork. And when I cook my meals, I'll eat them straight out of the pot, which saves taking bowls and things like that. Although you do have a little sort of bowl on the end of the jet boil. Um, or when I'm eating these um, dehydrated meals, I just eat that straight out the bag. Then you, again, don't need a bowl. These are good because they're high calories, one 635 calories. Taste really nice. Orzo pasta bolognese, um, which is a beef bolognese. Again, very light, very easy. Just tip the, the um, boiling water into the bag and then eat it from the bag. Breakfast would be a porridge. Just boil up some water and that's very easy and very light. Um, talking of water, in here I've got all my little accessories that I need, including um, Ketadin B3, 0.6 litre is a collapsible bottle with a filter 
inside it so you can just fill your bottle up from a lake or a stream screw that on and as you drink the water is filtered filters out everything um, bacteria viruses particles so that's really handy because it doesn't take up any weight other things I've got in here are some tissues some antibacterial wipes compass that will go with the map head torch usually take two head torches got a tiny little um, travel toothpaste and toothbrush sleep mask I tend to wake up if it as soon as it gets light so that's probably not um, an essential item but I like to take it um, a little travel trowel for toilet and a toilet roll for when you're out in the wild probably not, not needed yet but a mosquito head net a little emergency blanket first aid kit and a little survival kit that inside has got things like tape um, in this little tin it's got some a ferro rod and some things for starting a fire a, a whistle a little saw mini compass just little basic a bit of cordage um, just the basics really in case you need a little plastic bag there for disposing of anything keeping things dry put your phone in it and then i have got um a little compact saw in case you need to make a fire you can chop a bit of wood with that and my knife oh sorry ferro rod for starting a fire in an emergency situation wouldn't just you know I wouldn't usually start a fire on a wild camp but if you need it to keep warm you've got the stuff there where's my knife somewhere there should be a knife little pen knife foldable again just for emergencies anything you need to cut Maybe um, if you need to make a tent peg from a, a stick, you can sharpen up the end with um, with your knife. Save so you carrying tent poles, pegs, and that's in that little dry bag. So, what else have I got? This is my spare clothes in here. So I've got a hat, gloves a set of thermals to sleep in, a spare t-shirt, uh, a little travel towel and bikini because I like to do wild swimming so on my walks I'll find a lake and I'll have a, a swim. I've also got a cap in case it's sunny and then I have got um, in this one again not essential it's just a little um, quick tarp um, ground mat that I can put down to sit on or if I need to keep anything dry I can cover a rucksack with it or something like that. In this bag is my waterproof jacket, in this bag is my down jacket just for prepared for any weather. Trekking poles, wouldn't go without those now, I've had a bad knee, last time I went on a hike I didn't take my trekking poles and injured my knee um had to borrow somebody else's trekking poles to get down so always take trekking poles takes a lot of pressure off your knees especially coming down the mountain this one is a little um fire um little fold out compact fire pit um with a mesh just stands on tripod legs and you put the the mesh on the top and that keeps your fire off the ground if you need to have a fire that's quite heavy so again you might not take that 
map and compass essential um never know what the weather's going to be like it can change really quickly um and you need to know how to you know use a compass in case it's poor visibility um travel pillow again i like a luxury i like to be comfortable so it's another essential item for me but not for everybody most people would probably fold up their coat use their coat or something but i like a pillow and i think that's everything so that will all fit into my 65 litre backpack quite comfortably um, with space still i've also got little clips little um, loops and clips that i can clip things onto the outside of the backpack if necessary it's a nice big roomy backpack all of that will fit in there and it probably will weigh around 13 kilograms so not ultra lightweight by any means you can go a lot lighter if you cut out a lot of the sort of luxury items that I like to take with me so I will be doing some more videos with all of this equipment out on a wild camp um, to show you how it all works and what it looks like set up um, I also take my dog um, I do a separate video with the extra things that I take for the dog if I'm taking my dog overnight. So I'll show you that in future videos.